Well, good morning this morning. A scripture found in Matthew chapter 13, beginning in verse 3, and it goes like this. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth. And forthwhile they sprung up, because they had no deep, deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among the thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Uh, I heard about a uh, an individual who had uh, recently come to Christ, but he had never heard the gospel until that day. And it's true that with all churches in America today, even where, where I'm from, <laughs> in the so-called Bible Belt, men and women are growing up without a clear witness of the gospel. But on the other hand, there are people across the country who have never heard the gospel repeatedly, but their hearts have been hardened. That's dangerous uh, position to be in, according to Proverbs 29, says, he who is often proved, uh, reproved, yet stiffens his neck, will suddenly be broken beyond healing. God's patience will not always persist with man. Unfortunately, I'm afraid there are so many people sitting in churches today who have heard the gospel many, many, many times, but have never really trusted in Jesus Christ. They grew up in a Christian home. Their parents were Christian. They took them to church every Sunday, but they never had the experience of salvation in Jesus. So I ask you, yeah, you, a simple question. Which soil are you? Do you just do the Christian routine out of habit? Or are you genuinely bearing spiritual fruit? Now, I know at one time, I was at church every Sunday. Yep. It's like being in the rain with an umbrella up. You don't get wet. I never put that umbrella down. The Lord finally put it down for me. But, you know, it's never too late, folks, to commit or recommit your life to Christ and experience the joy of genuine walking with the Lord. Walking in that light. We need to. You need to. I enjoy walking in the light, the truth, the way. Yes. So don't just go through the motions of a Christian. No. Experience it. Experience it. Ask the Lord to come in and, and revive you. Renew your mind. And take that stony heart out. And put a heart, his heart, in you. And you know what? He will. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yep, he died on that cross for us. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.